So there's been a bunch of videos, obviously, that come out the last couple of days, especially here in the Midwest, about Teslas uh, suffering horribly in the cold temperatures and not being able to charge and all kinds of other BS. And I can tell you that right now it is 18 degrees Fahrenheit here. We have a wind chill of like minus 25, I think it was. All the schools are closed because of cold, not because of snow. And in the last couple of days, we've actually had actual air temperatures of minus 5, minus 10. No problems with charging. Yeah, maybe I had like a 20% drop or so on my battery capacity, but the same thing happens with gas vehicles. You still get a range capacity drop. Um, so I just wanna let everybody know that it's complete BS. It's about the same level of range decrease that you would see in a gas vehicle. And any of these things about charging stations not working are complete garbage. The charging stations literally have power outages. There's nothing you can do about that. I gotta get on the road, so I'll let you guys go. Thanks. All right, guys, so I've just arrived here at the office, and we're gonna go ahead and plug into our level two charger. Now, on a very, very good day in the summertime, I can expect to get up to about, I don't know, 25, uh, 30 miles uh, per hour on the charge. Right now, we are sitting in the single digits uh, outside, and I've just plugged in. You can see we're already getting very quickly uh, charging statistics coming through. And we're, we're only, what, uh, maybe, five, six miles per hour underneath my maximum charge rate that I would expect in perfect conditions. Um, so yeah, um, you know, these guys that you see on this Tesla dead uh, robots video being shared by Fox and other news stations, um, they're complete idiots, to be honest. And there's a couple things that are happening. Um, at one of the charging stations, it looks like they actually had a power outage due to the winter storm. So, of course, if you plug into a Tesla supercharger and there's no electricity, you're not going to get a charge. So that's going to cause, you know, a backup of cars wanting to get charged. And I think you also have people that are pulling in with very, very low battery. And as they're sitting there waiting, their battery is dying and going to zero. And Tesla is very clear and other manufacturers of EVs are very clear. Never let your batteries go to zero. If you let them go to zero, uh, you could actually do damage to the vehicle. And I think that that's what's happening. Um, they're going to zero. And in some cases, probably even their 12 volt system is dying. And then when they plug into the Tesla supercharger, even if it has electricity at the supercharger, they're not going to get a charge because they have damaged their charging system. So you know, this video, I just wanted to prove that it's freezing here. Um, you know, in Michigan, we've got the same temperature, same snowstorm system that Chicago has. And, uh, you know, single digits and uh, minus wind chills. And even, like I said, uh, some negative air temperatures here just without the wind chill the last couple of days. Um, and the electric vehicles are running just fine. You're going to see maybe a 20 to 30% decrease on your, on your range. Um, but that's really no different. Then if you had an ICE vehicle or an internal combustion vehicle, you also will see a range decrease or mile per gallon decrease on those as well because it simply takes more energy to run the vehicle in the cold temperatures. So, you know, if, uh, if you guys want to, you know, continue sharing those uh, Tesla dead robot videos claiming that the cold temperatures are, in fact, you know, causing these cars to die or making them so they can't be charged, it, it's a lie. There's extenuating circumstances. There's things out that are going on the news channels are not reporting on. Um, I believe that a lot of this fear mongering is being sponsored by big oil. And, uh, you know, a lot of these people that are on social media are really just big oil shills that are just trying to get you to stay away from possibly electrification. And uh, really, there's no logic behind it. And it's just lies. So yes, if you let your vehicle go to zero, uh, and you try to plug into a supercharger, you may have problems. So just plan ahead. Don't let your vehicle go to zero. The same thing would go if the temperature was 75 degrees, you know, so I just want to make this video to kind of refute some of the, the crap that's being, uh, you know, shared on social media and on the, the regular news channels today. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know. I uh, appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the comments. Thanks.